Hi guys. It is still an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day. Here in the end times in paradise we have finally made it over to the Sancho to the local cemetery to look at all the fresh American flags flying over the dead Christian soldiers here on Memorial Day 2019 it is Monday May 27th 2019 At the Cortland, New York Cemetery is where we are. And it's been a steady stream of visitors <coughs> putting their flags on those who, in memory of those who gave it all, gave it all to uh, take a bullet for the global corporatocracy. I'm not even sure who the Excelsior flag is, but someone educate me what the blue Excelsior flag is. Is that Navy maybe? Uh, little dog, you're not supposed to be over here. There are still people. All right. How many flags do we have flying under the main flag? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about thirty more flags flapping under the main American flag here in the cemetery as we all remember our fallen comrades who died for Exxon Mobil. Hmm. I don't want to disturb anybody's. Anyway, such hallowed ground. Such hallowed ground. Hi, right, little dog. Come here. Come here. My little vet veteran dog. Christian soldiers. <clears throat> yeah. Something about the American flag flapping on a grave with Jesus. There's the ultimate combination Jesus and the flag. Where have you gotten to, our little dog? I already lost my little dog. There's a bum bum up here like that. Anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous uh, day. So anyway, I'm been thinking about my annual broken record Memorial Day rant, and I just uh, remembered this story about my own family history so I'm just gonna tell a tell a story today about where I came from I guess you can say so I guess this would be let's see my grandmother's father yeah, my grandmother's father so my great-grandfather uh, and great grandmother. So the story was this: in uh, in 1862, 
1862 my uh, who would that be my grandmother's my maternal grandmother's family uh, lived in this little town called Rogersville Tennessee in the middle of the Civil War I know in the Confederate state of Tennessee and that was oh that was Papa Smith that's right Papa Smith was my grandmother's father so my great granddaddy everyone just called him Papa Smith I don't even know what Papa's first name was uh, Is that right? Who would it have been? I am totally losing track. Maybe it was his mother. Good God how the centuries run together. But anyway, here's the bottom line. I, I come from, there were three sisters. There were three sisters living in uh, Rogersville, Tennessee in 1862 in the middle of the Civil War and they were ardent Sancho! They were ardent anti-war peaceniks. Come here! So they were very much against the the war. You know, the, the war of northern aggression as all her, her neighbors no doubt called it. So these three sisters lived there in Rogersville, Tennessee in 1862. You can imagine the the war hysteria going on. Well, it so happens that there were these three brothers who lived in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. These uh, Yankee boys. And they were ardent anti-war activists. And so as the story goes, and I, and I do think this is a true story, although who knows, maybe, uh, maybe it's just one more myth, uh, is uh, so these three Yankee boys from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania in the middle of the Civil War, in protest of the war, they walked to Rogersville, Tennessee protesting the war uh, somehow these three Yankee brothers in Harrisburg Pennsylvania these three Yankee boys had got wind of these three southern girls in Tennessee who were horrified by the war and certainly risking their own lives and imprisonment and everything else these three young men from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, one of whom I lose track was my great-grandfather or my great-great-grandfather, walked to Tennessee and the three brothers married the three sisters. So these six anti-war protesters got together. I don't know how long they knew each other or anything else. So these three Yankees from uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania headed to Tennessee in the middle of the Civil War and uh, married these three anti-war protesting Southern girls. And that was that. And here I come along about a hundred years later uh, I showed up out of that fray. So, I honestly don't know if that's a real story or not. It's always been passed down uh, as gospel in my own life. Uh, I know that my mother and sister, they actually traveled to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania uh, way back when you know, to go in the archives and find out all the details of this. So I hope it's a real story. Now, of course, on the flip side, the story from the other side uh, of the clan, from the Middleton clan, who I'm pretty sure 
is somehow related to uh, Princess Kate, to the Middleton clan in England. Uh, that, went on that side, while, while the three brothers were uh, hiking down from Pennsylvania to marry the three girls from Tennessee, my, uh, one, one, my other, uh, I guess, great-great-grandfather, at least according to family lore, was being murdered by his own slaves. He was the Georgia boy. Uh, so anyway, again, I don't know if that one is true, but uh, fortunately he managed to leave his seed somewhere. And uh, so the murdered slave owner blood mixed in with the uh, anti-war protesting blood. And then that's all over there on my, on one side of the family. And then on the other side of my family through my father's line is his parents um, emigrated here from Germany between the world wars. They saw the handwriting on the wall what was uh, ramping up so I'm not sure right after World War One I, I guess they they decided that we haven't seen the end of this yet so those were the Hildebrands and the Hildebrands headed out across the ocean to get away from what they saw forming in the Weimar Republic of Germany. And uh, I'm a product of that. And uh, so I don't think either one of my grandfathers were veterans. Uh, the only veteran I know is my father. He did. He fought in the Good War. He, uh, he, he actually served in North Africa. He was uh, anti-aircraft in North Africa. He was over there, you know, if you've seen Casablanca. That's what my old man was dealing with. Anywho, that's my story. And I am sticking to it on this gorgeous day, on Memorial Day, we're going to send out a, uh, we're going to have a toast. A toast to all the bullet bags who gave their all for the global corporatocracy to keep cheap gasoline flowing through our gas-sucking cars. And all joking aside, I really appreciate it. Get out there and memorialize those who died for cheap gasoline while well, you still can. Bye guys. You get that rabbit! Is that a rabbit?